Hey everybody, welcome to the introduction to how to use ink. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about our editor, our SEO editor. How do you create long form content that gets found, engages and converts? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure you grab the software. Now our ink writing software is different from our Chrome extension. Um, it is found here on app.inkforall.com forward slash install. You can just go to app.inkforall.com and then click on download ink. In here, you can choose the platform that you want to write in, uh, Windows, Mac, or Linux. You're going to download and install it, and then you can open the ink editor. When you open the ink editor, you're going to see uh, it is organized in two sidebars. All of your functional items are on the left, like your file management and the optimization is on the right. A trick is I can uh, toggle this with control one and two, so I can always open and close it and just focus on my writing. Since Ink is a wonderfully focused um, writing experience, um, very distraction-free, zen, if you will, but also very powerful. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the core of the value of what Ink is bringing, which is optimizing your SEO. And the first thing you should know is that in the SEO sidebar, you need to add your key phrase. Your key phrase is the thing that you type in Google to find the page that you're about to write. And it should not be, um, it should not be a list of five or 10 things, but just the one key phrase that best describes what your article is uniquely about. Uh, Google will automatically rank you for all of the related key phrases as long as you do a better job than other people at delivering on the intent behind that key phrase. So let's just say that we, um, that we would uh, write an article about content optimization strategies. Um, so what is now going to happen is <clears throat> Ink is going to crawl the web and find all of the best performing articles in, in search in terms of optimization. <clears throat> we're going to read those and we're going to analyze them with artificial intelligence to find out why did Google rank this content higher than that content and find all the patterns in there. We're then going to use that information uh, while you write to score your article. So as you are writing here, this score is going to go up. Okay. So this score here uh, goes from 0% to 100%. Uh, try to have a minimum of 80% for any article that you publish. Internally here at Inc., we try to not publish anything for our own company that is under 90%. You may not reach 100% every time. That's okay. Just do your best to optimize it as high possible score as possible until you are happy. At least when you know you're over 80, 85, 90%, you know you'll have done a great job on your piece of content, okay? So uh, we showed how to add content, how to score keywords, and what the score means. The ink score is different than other scoring mechanisms out there because it is truly AI-driven. You cannot manipulate it just by stuffing keywords. In other words, this score relies on artificial intelligence to understand the meaning of what you're saying not just the words you are using. So if you write an article about dessert and you don't use the word dessert, <clears throat> but use cupcake uh, instead, it doesn't matter. We still understand you're talking about a dessert. Or if you use silverware versus cutlery, it does not matter. Ink score will understand the idea behind what you're trying to say. And so that makes it different from everything else out there. And it's a very important uh, aspect because Google also does not operate on the word counting level. Google operates on the, you know, on the AI neural network um, semantic embedding level, right? So now a little bit about how we break down our score. <clears throat> the biggest influence on your score is going to be how relevant your article is. This is really driven by AI where we read the competitive articles and figure out what makes them relevant. We also have word tasks and the word tasks are more going to be about the style and delivery and a few easy tasks that you can do uh, to make your article better. And then finally, document tasks might relate to things like, do you have images? Are you 
uh, having the right structure to your document? Are you optimizing your meta information and so forth? And finally, the headline tasks will cover the optimization of your heading. Uh, well, is it relevant to the article? Is it relevant to the key phrase? Is it emotionally intelligent? Is it using a sentiment that is going to uh, get more clicks for you? Things like that. Okay. So going into the individual tasks would take a long video because there's a lot of tasks to do, but um, ink is contextual. So as you are writing, it will automatically um, create tasks and close tasks for you as well. It will also let you highlight um, the examples that are failing so that you easily can improve them. In terms of um, your relevant topics, you can scout uh, your, uh, what your competitors are writing about, easily find topics you are missing. Um, and the same is true for sources, which would, is going to show you the top ranking articles and how they have covered the topic as well as uh, opportunity for you to still um, write about things you may have missed. So with that, we have a very high level overview of the ink editor. Um, obviously you want to know to save your articles. You will save them as ink files. Ink files can be drag and drop imported into WordPress. Um, if you want a WordPress plugin, I recommend you grab it from the uh, WordPress store and install it to your WordPress. You can drag and drop your ink files straight into WordPress. You can also export your file as a, a Google document, uh, as HTML, as markdown, as text, and you can also always copy paste. So um, that should be the essentials of how you use ink uh, to write. Um, in a next video, I will definitely talk about how you use AI writing in conjunction with optimization and also uh, a little bit more about what makes this a, just a great place to write uh, in terms of focus, accessibility, things like that. And then finally, I also hope to make a video around how you can use this in, in context of your SEO strategy. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a great start to your ink journey.